What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to look at the Transformers Cyberverse Prowl. So, this is the Siren Shot version of Prowl. I believe they released this Prowl previously, but this is a newly decoed, and also it comes with some accessories. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. Um, but it's really, uh, it looked really cool on the shelf. I don't normally review any of the Cyberverse stuff, but I thought this one looked really neat. So I decided to pick this up and check it out. Um, so right away, he does come with these blast effects. They're pretty cool. You can plug them into his shoulder cannons here. Uh, you can aim these up and down. Oops. And it looks pretty good. You also have his blaster here, which you can put in his hand. It does is a very tight fit. I don't know why it's so tight, but you can take one of these blast effects and it does fit on that gun. So if you want to just put one on here, you can, or you can put two on here. Pretty cool accessories to include on a Cyberverse figure. I didn't know Cyberverse had blast effects, stuff like that. Um, let's take a look at the details on this guy. So he's got some blue paint, metallic blue, he's got some light blue. He's got his uh, police symbol there. The face sculpt is a little weird. I mean, it's kind of skinny, and I guess that's what he looks like on the Cyberverse show, but it does look a little strange. But all in all, his paint scheme is really cool. You got this translucent blue. You got the blue paint all throughout. You got this more like a off-white grayish paint on the legs. Here's the back. You got the police. We'll look at that more in the vehicle mode. Um, but all pretty good looking version of Prowl. Let's do uh, take a look at his articulation. So his head uh, does rotate around. It kind of looks like glow-in-the-dark plastic, but it's not glow-in-the-dark. But He does have that red paint and then the blue on the face and then the light blue for the eyes. Uh, the, head, the, eye, the face doesn't actually go up and down. It just turns. You can rotate these up and down. The doors, as usual, can go back and forth. You can have them flat or you can have them all the way back. I like to have them at a little angle. The shoulders rotate all the way around. You have a rotation at the... Well, I guess you have a shoulder joint there, but you also have a rotation at the bicep. Single jointed elbow gets you 90 degrees and a rotation at the wrist. You do have a waist rotation on this guy. No ab crunch. Legs go up to there, back to there. There is a hip skirt on the side, and the legs go out to there. A little bit hindered on its own, but you have the hip skirts. The knee gives you less than 90 degrees, but almost 90 degrees. Uh, you do have a rotation at the thigh, and you get an ankle tilt. Uh, no, uh, you, oh, sorry, you do get ankle rocker as well. So ankle rocker and ankle tilt on a figure like this is really surprises me that he's got that much articulation. For a quick size comparison, there he is with the Earthrise Run Amok. Uh, pretty much the same exact size, same height. So if you really wanted to, you could sneak this guy into your Earthrise collection. Um, it's strange because most of the Cyberverse are a lot smaller, but this one happens to scale perfectly with Earthrise. Right, now let's get this guy transformed into his vehicle mode. Um, pretty simple transformation, but a little bit of uh, involvement compared to the normal Cyberverse. Go ahead and pull up on here. It is tabbed in pretty securely there. Fold this backpack all the way back. I'll you to reach for this hood piece. Tab that in. It tabs in nice and secure. Go ahead and take this and fold that back. If you don't do that, you're going to have trouble later, so make sure you get that folded back. Okay. And then we're going to take this front top part and get that kind of push down on top. Go and take the arms, rotate those in, so you've got the police symbol on the inside. Make sure you've got the gap facing the outside. And you get this tucked in underneath. Same on this side. Make sure you've got the police symbol on the inside. Rotate it. And then get this tucked in underneath his body right there. Right, now we can take care of the legs. So come over here. I really do like that they've got the covers on the legs. Most cheaper versions of Prowl don't have leg covers. Even the Earthrise didn't have leg covers. So I'm, I'm not sure why they can have leg covers here, but not on Earthrise. 
Anyway, open up those leg covers, get them all the way out like that. Go ahead and fold in his side of his feet and then fold his feet into his legs. Very similar to most uh, prowl transformations. And get this tucked in underneath his chest there. And then get these pegged in together. And then go ahead and close up this panel. Everything tabs in nice and secure on this figure. And you close that up and then you're going to take these doors and that's what's going to secure the tab right there. And a tab on this side. And there is Siren Shot Prowl in his vehicle mode. Pretty cool looking vehicle mode. He rolls really well. Um, nice looking police car. A lot of blue on this guy. You got the metallic blue that says police there. You got the police lights on top. You got the blue stripes. Just not a bad at looking vehicle at all. Uh, you can take the weapons and mount them here. So you can take this gun. And, oops, and that fits into his top there. You can take these and you can peg this into here. And then the question is where do you put this? Well this goes on the exhaust which is kind of cool. Um, it's interesting that they thought about that. There you go. We can really get some exhaust, or you can use this as a weapon. Um, really cool looking. Let's bring in a vehicle for comparison. So there he is with the Earthrise runabout. Oh, pretty much the same size, a little bit shorter. Um, he really could fit in with the Earthrise collection. A um, little bit smaller than, than most, but overall uh, really quite the same size. All right, let's just get back into his robot mode. Go ahead and take this off. Um, really nice looking, by the way. Uh, unpeg the doors on the side and get those open. Go ahead and open up these panels here for the feet or the legs. And make sure you give it that extra push there. Uh, unpeg this from here. And that'll allow you to fold this back. Um, just make sure you clear these hip skirts here and open up the legs come to the back here flip down the feet fold out the side of the foot and then close up these panels to make up the legs I really like that they have those panels to cover down makes me wonder about Earthrise go ahead and take these arms and fold them out Fold this panel back down and all while you're doing that make sure you fold this forward and then fold this out for the shoulder cannons and then fold this back in its place. There is a slot here on the back of this that is going to peg in right there. So make sure you get that sandwiched in between there and also make sure you get it lined up with that peg. So open up that peg and then get this in here. So you should have something like that and then you can close that up and it should tab in. And then make sure you have these pointed upwards, you're going to fit through that slot there. And then click that down, it should tab, tab in. Rotate the arms until you have the police symbol on the front. Fold the wings back to your liking. And then flip these down. And there you have Prowl transformed back into his robot mode. And I really like this guy. I'm really impressed. I, I've never picked up a Cyberverse figure. I don't think they're all like this. I mean, the fact that he's got cover down everywhere and they're actually even a little bit more robust than the Earthrise materials. It just feels very solid. Um, it looks really good. It's got a lot of paint on it. You got accessories. You've got one, two, three accessories. And it's the same price. It's $20 compared to Earthrise. So a little strange to me. I'm, I, it kind of makes me question, Does is Takara kind of cheating us on the, on the Earthrise? Because this one really could stand in with your Earthrise, except it's got extra, you know, weapon effects and stuff like that. So highly recommend it if you're into Cyberverse. Even if you're not into Cyberverse, I think it's a fun figure. It looks good. It transforms into a really cool vehicle. And it's just fun. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.